Yo, what's good, gang? It's your boy, Ned Cookhouse, back with another amazing one. Yeah, uh, I know it's been a while, but actually it's not been a while. I think I posted a video three days back, but like, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Accident. But like, yeah, guys, Um, in today's video, um, if you've read the title, we're gonna be making some card. A lot of y'all been requesting this video, so yeah, here's it. And, um, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because the major majority of y'all are not subscribed. Nah, don't forget they have youtube studio they ex expose each and every one of you all there but like yeah if you if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to your boy like the video share the video for once like let's help the the channel grow we have come so far 2k subs um shout out to all my day ones who's that one i think it's txo talk T it txo yeah talk to mama um i think i also flipped this FLP. shout out to him as a day one wavy i think his name is wavy mama and this other one who's another one mama wavy, wavy boy i think it's wavy boy wavy. yeah shout out to them they're the day ones even y'all guys yeah but like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to your boy and please follow me on instagram at net cookups guys please just follow me i'll put the link in the description just click that link and click follow Oh, um, as I do one of those things whereby I I I, I offer you all a kid, and you you follow me on Instagram and stuff. But yeah, that's besides the point, guys. If you haven't follow me on Instagram, please follow me. You're gonna find my snippets and all of the songs that I'll be releasing. Even this Friday, I'm releasing a song called Pendulo with my nigga Iconic Flow. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, ish, I'm talking too much. But like yeah, let's get into the video. Bow. So I'm gonna open up H wait. Actually I've installed some plugins. Let me quickly refresh them things. Hello, hello. okay so guys uh what are, what are, what i will advise it's simple just know this simple actually let me don't use these things you see these things nah don't go there what is she and like let me switch off this help pass don't follow the cell pass and stuff that's that's my advice from me to you you know and the two main cause that you need to know it's major and minor simple if you know those ones you are you are on the right track so a major looks like this if you don't know but i'm sure if like you're a producer and you search some videos i'm sure you've heard about major and minor this is a minor chord uh two spaces between three spaces between easy this is a minor chord and it plays like this how oh. how oh. my keyboard oh yeah like this simple and then there's a major you leave three spaces first and then two spaces after a minor you leave two spaces and then three spaces easy just like this this is a major this is a this is a major this is a minor you see three spaces in between two spaces two three easy after when you get here this is the first step this is the first step learning how to learning a major major so like you can build a cut off, off of this but like ah you don't sound like you don't sound like a like you won't sound sound as uh, like the way you want it because like my majors and minors are, are like some of the basic chords you know so like obviously they will sound basic and shit but like um there are many songs that are that have been um that like that have like that where whereby they use major and minors like i nah um, i wanted to make an example but like it's fine but like, yeah that's a major and minor this is a minor Easy. 
you see major and minor the basic but like they're not nice like i don't like using them so if from there i don't know the names of the cause now because like i don't i don't know any music theory and shit i'm i'm also like i i i learned off of youtube and shit and friends and whoever that helped me but like yeah i don't know music theory as much but like what i usually do in i'm a piano cause like if you go through my 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 video every time i usually start with the with the first chord and what it's what like the important thing is that the ba the ba the root note uh, will always lead you to a second chord I don't, i'm not sure if that makes sense and then another thing is when making a piano beat it depends which type of a piano you are making for instance you can't like uh when you make bacardi piano or mozambique they don't use complex um chords and shit like they use in in private school pianos and stuff so if you wanna if you want me to show you how i make uh chords for private school uh please comment down below but now i'm just gonna show you how to make chords for mozambique and guari and stuff other than and twin and twin and like um watch videos on how to make um chords for deep house that will that will help y'all like that's where i got most of my knowledge and shit and like watch a lot of hip-hop hip-hop tutorials uh yeah how to make melodic beats that's where you gain um an ear on how to make chords and what do i mean when i say that the root note will always lead you to your second chord so let me make an example i start with the minor and you remember i said that um i don't like using them ba like when they are basic so the, what i like doing i'm not sure if this is a thing ne, but I, that's what i like doing ne. i like to take my middle note is this is a this is a minor chord two spaces between three spaces three spaces between so i like taking this middle chord and taking it down and then add another one on top of it so it sounds like this like it won't sound you know but like actually let me put a, a drum loop So I'm gonna t I'm gonna hold um control and take it down. It's still the same chords name. So let's um recap on what I did. I started off with the minor. And guys, there's no rules in making chords. Now that this is just my strategy. If you just gain an if you just get the idea of how to play with them this chords, like you can literally do any chord without even knowing music theory uh, like me i don't know any music theory but i know how to click and what what and manipulate chords so like there's no rule even what i'm doing this is just how i, m I go about making chords so uh, i start off with a minor chord and then i take this middle one down and then i put another one on top of yeah as you can see here i left one space one space and then and and then it sounds like this but like let's make it more like vibey and shit and like if you don't like this note just take it out but in this in this case i don't like it i like it and like do something that you hear in the ear like if you have a, set, a, a certain melody in your ear just attempt to do it that's why like that's like that's how i go about making my chords like i think about the melody and then attempt to do it so that like so by doing so it will m lead me somewhere so it all comes down to the skill and what you know that's why i say watch more videos on deep house and hip hop and shit but like yeah you see this note i don't like it i like this note so i'm gonna click it click it in What I did is I don't like this note. Like guys, it's all about like how you hear, hear certain things. I, I I don't know if it makes sense, but like it's all it all comes down to you as a person and what type of skill you have. But like I don't like this note. I just like this one. You see, like you just need to manipulate and like play with the sounds until you find something that you like so after 
make sure that your first chord sounds good. Like every time, make sure that your chord, first chord sound good. If your first chord doesn't sound good, then your melody will automatically be like trash. But like yeah, I click on Alt and R to randomize to make it sound like it's been played. It's not just you. And then click Alt and S to strum, and then it sounds like this. <laughs> And then you can just find nice pitches. I didn't like that note, so I took it down. So this is my first chord. I'm gonna listen to the bass note. So in this case, I'm hearing do, do, easy. After you, you have your root note, and then from your root note, it like once it, once once you have your root note, you copy it and take it up in octave, and automatically you have your second chord. What do I mean by that? This is a major chord. Why? Because it has three places between, two spaces between. And then what you can do is just follow along here, cause they're in line. And then what you can do again is just take this one and take it up in octave. But I don't like doing that, so. It's just an alternate uh, alternative way to manipulate your chord. So like, so far sounds like this. Easy, easy guys. It's all about your ear and what you hear. Eesh, 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 I'm not the rapper, but like yeah, it's all about your ear and what you hear. Eesh, ah, Joe, ah, Joe, I'm gonna be a. But like yeah, it's all about your ear and what you hear. Eesh, 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 but like yeah. Let me extend this. Uh, you know, like you can, like guys, your cord, your cords are your babies. You just make sure that your baby is looking nice. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, try and make your cords more unique as possible because it makes them interesting so like don't make them repetitive because you're bored unless if your beat has a lot of element what i mean by a lot of moments it has a lot of sound that will make your chords interesting but like if you depend on your chord make it more interesting and uh, i'm gonna show you how to make it interesting for instance this is too repetitive so i'm gonna take down the top note and then i'm gonna find a passing note <laughs> I'm gonna take it up an octave. Guys, now it's just make me being creative. I can't teach you how to be creative because like it all comes down to your skill and like how you manipulate certain things.
just like that guys i just made off made a card using the major and minor system <laughs> i just made a new system but like yeah so i'm gonna randomize everything like every time you add a new just randomize alt r it will make everything sound beautiful and i'm gonna add uh i'm gonna add the reverb reverb always important but not always guys depends on the sound that you're using <laughs> So I'm gonna save this as a MIDI. If you want this MIDI, you can just picture. You can just have this MIDI. <laughs> Export. Have this MIDI. So yeah, guys, let's make a chord using the minor, the minor chord. <laughs> yeah. Three spaces, two spaces, easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reason why I, sh I sometimes guys, I told you I don't know music theory, but like the, the the like what I'm doing now is I'm adding ten shade. Yeah, like if they're like this, they're too basic. Like, but like when I add this chord, it adds some tension. My first chord. Easy. I have my second chord. Let me show you all what I mean. In some cases, I just need to follow this, follow this, follow this. Then when I remove this, we are back to what? A major chord. Easy. And then this, you can easily see that this is a major chord easy and then if you want like, like if you want your chords to correspond just follow this like just align your notes with other chords notes sure yeah and sometimes a major one work if a major one work you have another body called a minor you can use a minor like in this case a major is not working a midi for y'all have this too have this midi too and guys you better download them so yeah yes like you can see this chord like already I, I, I like I, like already I have the skill so I can't start with the mine and shit because like already I know like which chord I'm gonna I'm gonna sound, sound like nice I already know.
I already know guys, so like, it's all about the skill and how much you practice. So yeah guys, I just know like if you practice a lot you will eventually get the hang of it. So let me explore this again, have this try. So um the last thing that I, I sh that I don't like doing and like I hate when people do it is when they use scales. So let me turn this scale on. Actually how do I yeah, it's help us, I think it's help us. View and then key scale. What the fuck is this? Yeah, c scale highlight, and then we will use this major alone. Cause and then let me set my scale to C, and then let me show you how p people tend to use scales, which is very helpful for some, but I I don't like using that, you know. So as you can see, you start this your symbol minor. As it is already highlighted for you, you can start with the symbol minor. So already you can see which notes are gonna add some tension, which is this one and this one. So if you play them, so it sounds nice, and then already you have your first chord, and then you can. Then you can see that this is a major chord because of the three and two spaces and then you can see the notes that will make it um that will cause tension which is this one and this one and then you can just turn this up can hear that there's a lot of tension going on eh, 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 but like then you just randomize and strum and then you're done Yeah, guys, that's how I make chords and like get an idea on how I'm, I my my chords would be. So if you've like 
gain some sort of knowledge because like I don't, I, I don't think I've explained this properly because I don't know how to explain how I make chords but like I make them but I don't know how I make them so yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you want more and if you didn't understand or if you have a question subscribe and guys um if you want to join my membership just the, my, my membership on my channel just click on the button join uh, and then yeah be a member of the fnd squad um yeah what you basically like you'll get like just click on join if you're interested and then you see the option that um i've set up for you there are actually nice and beneficial options that you can get there one of them including like you can get a collab with me actually let me not spoil it if you wanna join my membership just click on the button join next to my subscribe i'll try and put a picture here but i won't put it because i'm lazy but like just click on the just pause this video now go to subscribe and pause the video now yes pause this video now yeah and then click on uh, click on join and then it's gonna show you all the options and shit uh, but yeah if you wanna join my membership just do so by clicking the join and then you can see the like options that will be available and offers that i'm that i'm offering you all so yeah guys without further ado thank you if you watch this video road to 300k subs 3000 subscribers 300k what the fuck 3000 subscribers and guys i won't be dropping kit until 5k guys and this kid i'm planning to collab with someone someone who makes fire kits and yeah i won't i won't be dropping this kid until a kid when we hit 5k so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe share follow me on instagram the link will be in the description if you gain some knowledge please just like the video please and then yeah bow and i'm gonna save this video also let me save it have have this for three are we on three yeah